How's it going everyone? Equinox Phoenix here. Today we're going to talk about Supergirl Season 5 Episode 13, the 100th episode of Supergirl. A great milestone, isn't it? The show actually made it to 100 episodes. I know a lot of people probably doubted it because, you know, good shows don't last this long nowadays. They only stop at a season, and even then it's usually a 13 episode season. But yeah, Supergirl made it to what is more or less the halfway point of season 5. And I believe it's been renewed for season 6 as well, so that's great. This episode is titled, It's a Super Life. Now, in this episode, Mixopinelic makes his return. But this time, he doesn't look like he's um, some suave, you know... He's not trying to hook up with Supergirl, he's trying to make amends with everyone, and this is the card I used to pay for... Um, thing i probably shouldn't show that on screen um there's not that much money in it anyway it's a gift card it's what i use to pay for um uh for um youtube premium sorry anyway uh back to the show. he's come to make amends with everyone that he has wronged apparently he's been court ordered in fifth dimensional court and whatnot And so, obviously, Kara doesn't believe him. Uh, he claims that he's here to help fix Kara's uh, relationship with Lena by making it so that Kara had told Lena before Lex had. And I'm like, honestly, at the beginning of this episode, I was like, oh, is this how the writer's going to fix that relationship? You know, because Lena was introduced to us as the good Luther. So is she going to finally go back to being the good Luther, or... i got to readjust my chair, because this chair is really bad. Anyway, so is she going to go back to being the good Luther, or uh, something else? Um, well, let's see. Uh, Carter doesn't believe him, plays the tape recorder thing that um, has Mixie saying his name backwards, so that he sends him back to the fifth dimension. As he gives that to her, he's like, I even have this, which will allow you to send me back to the fifth dimension. <laughs> I love I love the I love this episode. This episode was hilarious. But yeah, and it's just like, oh, okay. So obviously she, they discuss it uh, with Alex and with uh, Jean Drones and and Brave stop pu putting up ads while I'm. <laughs> so um. So, of course, you know, eventually decide, yeah, let's give it a shot, right? Um, and he pops out of um, of Kara's fridge, which is hilarious. He's like, oh, yeah, I was eavesdropping, whatever. And so... He zaps um, Alex and John to paintball alone together, and so they're like, "He's like, oh, I just sent them to the, to the to, I just sent them to have fun, right?" When Carter asks him where he sent them, it's 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 fine. They're all good, and they just see each other, and they just see each, like and we just see that like the scene with Alex shooting John with a paintball, and then they're like, they're just like, "All right, let's have fun." Like they don't care. <laughs> it's like whatever, man. The car can handle herself. Let's have fun. Besides, they're probably on like some like stranded island somewhere. Like I wouldn't doubt Mixie doing that. So uh, they go through the times. Obviously, they go through multiple scenarios. We see uh, of what happens when Kara tells Lena about being Supergirl at certain points throughout the series. Most of them end, uh, I will say this, most of them end with a good relationship between Kara and Lena, but it has unforeseen circumstances, 
and it usually also ends in loss of death, um, either Lena's death or the death of like Kara's loved ones or someone else that shouldn't have died being dead. Like I, I think Samantha Arias was one of the deaths as Rain, if I'm not mistaken. Like Monel ended up killing her. Um, To protect like Lena and Kara. And it was it just it a lot of them were really bad. Like one of them was uh Kara dying because when she told Lena about being su- a supergirl, Lena went to Metropolis to speak with Samantha, uh to get her perspective on things. And like I feel like they they could have found one that would have ended well, but obviously they didn't. And then, and then the final uh, check, as it were, what happens if they had never met in the first place? This one is hell world. There is no other way to say this, but it was fucking hell world, right? Because as a result of never meeting Kara at all. Lena was kidnapped by her mother and experimented on and was turned into Metallo and went completely psycho and just like she like I forget which incident it was um that caused it but uh something about a helicopter cra- oh where Lex apparently tried to kill Lena uh, with some kind of helicopter crash or whatever. Car didn't save her. The crash caused Lil- Lillian Luther to kidnap Lena and experiment on her. I don't know what kind of mother, even stepmother, experiments on her child. But then again, you know. It's whatever. Uh, Like, you know, this is DC. Weird things happen, like. But yeah, and so she goes, she gets turned into Metallo, right? And so we're in, like, worst case scenario world, like, and I'm just like, oh dear, I am glad they never took it this far. And so, you know, they obviously work together with Monel, with Dreamer, and we find out in this world that Rain is now, um, working for Lena, for some reason? And that she... Kidnapped and reprogrammed, as it were, Pearl Docs, you know, Brainiac 5, and it's just like, oh no, Brainy's been kidnapped. And so we have Dreamer, we have Kelly, oddly enough, not not James, but Kelly Olsen uh, as Guardian. It was uh, okay. And then, you know, we have John Jones, we have Monel, we have Mixie who's powerless, but he's like, I need my thing back. I think we even had Toy Man at, in the episode, in, in that part of the episode as well. You know, Win, like Arwin, uh, who went from Computer Lad to Toy Man in like two episodes ago. But, um, yeah. So it's, it's interesting. This one was like, it was like a fight to survive. Kara went. <sighs> to Lena to confront her and try and convince her that this isn't the right way. Obviously, you know, Lena's like, you weren't there. And just, like, shows that she's now, a, like, a Metallo and, like, just fires the kryptonite beam straight at Kara and keeps firing it until Mixie grabs the his friend's hat with all the fifth dimensional energy, pulls the power from it, and resets everything. And with this, Kara realizes... She can't hold on to the guilt of the past. It's not her fault. Because ultimately, you can't change the past. If you try, it's just going to only end up worse. And so she goes and confronts Lena about it. And Lena's like, is this uh, you trying to you know, convince me to forgive you? And I was like, no. If you want to forgive me, We'll welcome you back. It's all good. 
But if you continue to work with your brother and your mother and you put the world at risk, you'll be treated just like any other villain. And as much as I've stated it, I don't like the fact that they've turned Lena, who's supposed to be the good Luther, into a villain. But if this is where the writers are going, I'm going to trust them for now. And hope it goes well. Eventually, I'm sure that Lillian and Lex are going to betray Lena. And maybe she'll realize, oh, I should have trusted you, not Lex. Lex was always a liar and whatnot. Like, I'm sure that's where it's going. Uh, but I'll see where, let's all see where it goes from here on out. Tell me what you guys thought of this episode in the comment section down below. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit like, hit subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys next time, and as always, stay bright.